guys deluded now i hate to say i'm right about several things there's nothing to be right about them, but i mean i must admit my accuracy for bringing out or bringing out my thoughts and for things to happen is un is un unrivaled i mean i said we can't rely on kashoni many times a week one i dropped a vid a week later or so he gets bodied i mean you saw a vid about Wenger needed to step down. Unfortunately, literally the next day or so, he stepped down. Like, you've seen a growing trend of these things. And a couple of you, whether I've met you to hand you a T-shirt or you've commented, you're like, yeah, you was right about that. I mean, I have an ego, but I don't really care for that. I say that to say this, however. Do you remember my vid about Yasin Fortune? In oh, yeah, Chris Willock as well last year. But do you remember my vid about what's going on with Yasin Fortune? He's a talented player. He was bought from Lens along with Rene Adelaide. He beat Manchester United to him specifically. He's someone that's been capped for French's youth side and he comes from Lens Academy. That's a prestigious and academy with a great track record. All you've got to do is look at Varane at Real Madrid now. It's, it's in a lovely academy. But he was had a lot of problems with injuries, with not getting a look in. He's forced really to remain with the under-18s, weren't necessarily in the match day squad. I know he started the final against Porto for the under-23s, but he's not really in the under-23s and failed to make the step up to that. So he's called time on his career now. He actually hasn't said it, but he said he's, he's, he's put on it on Instagram. A couple of players have wished him all the best, so it's good as gone. He did pose in a Southampton kit earlier on in the season as well. Where he goes is my guess, is anyone's guess. Does he go back to France or does he join another English side? I hope he goes somewhere and fulfills somewhat of his potential and gets back on track. I don't blame him for leaving. He's not quite looking. Like, he's only played eight times for the under-23s and he hasn't really figured in the under-18s because of injuries, because of not getting a look in and for reasons we don't know as football fans. He spent three years at a great club in his own words. He's learned a lot at Arsenal and he's learned a lot at Lens. So... It will hopefully, hopefully propel him to have a career. But at 19, turning 20 in January, with the lack of playing time and the competition around him, because even if you've got to look at Chuba Akpom and Mavididi, I rate Mavididi highly, but they're both on loan and they're both not really in the first team side. If they're not, then he's got to look at himself as a striker and say, am I really going to get there? Especially when you add in Balogun's younger than him and, and he's spoken of a prospect. Marlon left because of the very same reason. And then you've got young Enketi, who's the flavour of the month, really. So what, I wish him all the best, man. It's sad because he's a versatile player. He can play across the front five positions. He's decent strength. He's got technical quality. If he gets down and, 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 and he plays and he gets some consistency and stuff, then he can go a long way in football at, at a decent level. But like, it's sad. But yeah, man, it is, it is what it is. With a new manager coming in as well, he could have possibly stayed and, and seen what's happened. But I mean, if Chuba Pom and, and, and Mavididi, I say this lightly, aren't really getting a look in the first team side and they're ahead of him in the pecking order, then what are you going to do, logically? You need to take your future into your own hands, really. He spent three years here and he's learned a lot and now it's time for the next step of his career. So all I can do, man, is say Yasin Fortune, hopefully you have a good career. Go and do us proud. Go and do yourself proud. Go and prove Arsenal um, coaches and what wrong for not extending your contract to allow you to be released for whatever reason. And on that note, I ain't got much more to be said to say, and there's not much more to be said. Like I said, I'm keen to see if he goes back to his his homeland in France or he plays um for another English club or another European club. But I saw it go sometime, man. This is how it goes sometimes, guys. Deluded.